In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model this uh, boat hull. In it initially started out as a cube, so I'm going to show you the very quick simple steps right, to modify uh, the uh, default cube of uh, Blender into this uh, boat hull. Okay, so let's get started. So let me reset the scene. And we'll start off with the uh, default cube right over here. So we're right, now, right now we're in the top view, so um, I'm just going to switch over to edit okay press ctrl r go to the loop cut okay move the cursor over the edge here minimize click to cut it then i'm gonna press ctrl tab go to face mode select one of the faces here press ctrl plus number pad and then press x to delete away the faces so i got a shape looking like this okay i'm gonna delete away the top uh, face here okay until i get a shape looking like this so this is the base shape that we are going to transform into a boat. Okay, before I start uh, modifying this shape into a boat, the next thing I always like to do is to apply a mirror modifier to this shape. So under your modifiers tab, right below, add modifier and select mirror. Okay, and under the mirror options, I always like to turn on do clipping. Okay, so that the, the two, two halves will stick together right at the center. Okay, so now we can start to modify this into a boat hull. So first of all, I'm going to select all the faces and I'm going to scale them along the uh, Y axis here. So I'm going to press S followed by Y and just pull it out a little bit. Okay, so it looks like this. Okay, I'm going to press Ctrl or R and I'm going to press middle mouse click to cut one edge loop here. And then uh, very simply, I'm going to switch over to my uh, vertex mode. All right, and then just pull out the shape here like this. Okay, you can go to the side view. You can even rotate if you want. And you can move this up and pull it out a bit. Okay, so we can select this vertex here and pull it out as well. Okay, and then we're gonna select this edge here. And we're just gonna pull this up and slide it in in this direction. So essentially you can see the shape of the boat, the basic shape of the boat is, is there. Okay, but there's still a lot of tweaking to do. So let me go to the side view. I can go to front view if you want. Uh, I'm going to go to edit mode. I'm going to switch over to uh, vertices. I'm going to select all the vertices. And I'm going to scale them along the z-axis to just flatten it like this. Okay. And right now to give my uh, boat a more aerodynamic or streamlined shape. I'm going to use the loop cut again. Press Ctrl R. Okay, I just want to cut one loop cut right across here. And in order, in order to keep the topology straight, okay, I'm going to press scale along the Y axis and you can press 0 to make sure that this loop cut cuts across evenly like this. Okay, so you can now go to the top view. You're going to switch over to wireframe mode, okay, pressing Z, press A to deselect, press B and then just grab these couple of points here and then just pull these points out slightly a bit, okay, and maybe I just want to move these group of points forward a little bit so that I my boat has this slight uh, streamlined shape, okay, it's uh, looking good, so now we want to give a, a keel to the boat. Okay, right now the, the bottom looks a bit flat. So I'm going to insert one edge loop because this satisfies the four phase rule. So I'm going to press Ctrl R. I'm going to add one edge loop and I'm just going to slide it all the way down here. And then I'm going to grab the, these points here and maybe these points as well. All right. And then I'm just going to pull it down slightly along the, uh, the Z axis. Right, and then maybe this point, I'll just pull it up a little bit. Or you can even flatten it if you want. Okay, so now we got a, the key of the boat. Okay, right now this tip is a bit off. Let me go to the side view. And just push it up a bit. Okay, so now we got a nice key of the boat. Right now the boat looks a bit faceted. It doesn't look really nice. So we are going to select all, all the faces. And we're just going to smooth it right at the bottom here and select smooth. Okay, so now our boat is smoothed. All right. 
Now this, this model can double as a, a low polygon uh, games model at this stage. Okay, so uh, of course we're going to make it look better. So we're going to subdivide this. So I'll press Control One for one level of subdivision. Okay, let me get out of this weight paint mode. Okay, and then you can see that yeah we're pretty close to the boat shape that we want. But you'll notice right at the end here, there's a rounded. Uh, it has this rounded look because uh, if you go to edit mode, the number of faces here is not enough to give it a hard corner. So we can add one edge loop and drag it right to the end here. So now the stern of the boat okay looks much better. Okay, I'll try my best to use nautical terms here. So the back of the boat is the stern, and the front is the bow. Okay, the and we are working on the port side of the boat. Okay, which is the left, and the starboard side, which is the right. Okay, so now you can uh, continue to tweak this boat until you're happy with the shape. Okay, you can see that the number of points detail is still relatively low. Okay, you can tweak this to your heart's content. Okay, so once you're happy with this, uh, you might want to solidify this. Okay, or you might want to add uh, details inside this boat. But right now you can see that the boat is paper thin. So if you follow my uh, f my previous Fedora head tutorial, uh, you can use a script to actually solid solidify this. So while keeping this in edit mode, I'm going to open up a new window. Just right mouse click between this and split. And then we're going to change this to a scripts window. And before you apply the scripts, uh, the, the next thing you need to do is to select all the components here. So, um, oh yeah, bef I forgot to do one thing. That is to join the two mirror halves because actually right now we are working on one half of the boat, right? And it, you can see that it is uh, stitched together, okay, because of the uh, do clipping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the mirror, right? Uh, the mirror modifier here. I'm going to apply. Okay, so once I applied it, it has become a single object. And uh, it is only when I, uh, when it's combined to a single object uh, that I usually apply the uh, solidify, right? Because if you can apply solidify while well, it's at a mirrored stage, but uh, it gives you very ugly artifacts right at the center. So usually what I'll do is I'll, I'll work on a model uh, when it's half of it. And once I'm happy with it, I'll combine it into a uh, single mesh model, then I apply the script. Okay, so uh, with all the elements selected, you can click on scripts under mesh and then uh, click on solidify selection. Now, when you click on this solidify selection, there'll be a floating menu here and it gives you the range on how thick you want the uh, mesh to be. So I find that the best value to give is usually, uh, well, you can make the thickness go outwards or inwards. Now, in this case, you can see the value which I put in here is negative 0 0.1. So this is the only value that I change. Everything else is left as default. And I just click OK. So once you've done that, you notice that the uh, the boat now appears to be solid because it has a, uh, a thickness to it. Okay, But because of the script, it also uh, introduced some uh, sort of anomalies to the boat. Now if you can see that the, uh, the edges here, is, it seems a bit off. Well, you can manually try to tweak this. Okay, but one quick way to fix the edge here would be to go to face mode, all right, and then hold down to Alt. Okay, go to one of the edges of the top edge of the boat here. Just right mouse click. Okay, I selected the outer edge, which is not what I want. I'm gonna press A to deselect. I'm gonna try that again. Press Alt, right mouse click. Ah, so now I can see the edge loops runs across like this. So I'm gonna go to the side view. And I'm going to flatten this completely simply by pressing S to scale. And I'm going to lock in the Z axis. And I can press 0. And now I've got a completely flat edge for the top of the boat. Now, some of you might not like the uh, the rounded look of this. Uh, in fact, okay, you can see that uh, the edges are not very clean or not very hard. So you have to introduce more edge loops. So I go to edit mode. Press Control R. Okay, I'm going to... Add one edge loop right close to the corner here. And interior, I'm going to add another edge loop and then bring it up right to the edge here. Okay. Right, so now you had a very nice looking edge on the boat. 
Now for the rest of the boat, you can just keep on adding planks or you can even add a, a cabin or you can even add a lattice to deform it to make it look like a speedboat or a sailboat. Okay, and I can show you an, an, an example which I did previously. So things like this, you can add a cabin and then you can start to decorate the boat. Okay, you can you might even add a rudder and a propeller that sticks out of it. So essentially, this is how you create uh, the boat uh, from a simple cube. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. And I'd like to wish everybody a happy new year. And I hope that I will continue to make more uh, Blender videos for all of you. Thank you for watching this video.